Buenos días para todos. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Martín Torrado. I form part of GenXS support team. And um, I would like to talk about this tool that GenXS uh, 15 proposes in its live editing. Let me come out from my position of uh, uh, developer of Boliges UI. If you don't know Boliges UI, that's an application that we developed together with our colleague, Ignacio. And this app shows information in a centralized and updated manner of uh, uh, Montevideo by night. If you are come from abroad, you would probably like to know what's uh, where you can go, what bars you can visit, what they offer, what discos there are. It's everywhere right now. And we use the live editing for this app. So I would like to um, talk uh, and give this lecture uh, from the position of someone who used live editing for a specific project. And it was most useful. The first step is to know what live editing is and what it's useful for. What does it uh, contribute? What, what kind of tool is it? Well, it's a tool that GeneXus 15 has that allows you to create user and um, interface and experience in uh, a shorter time. If I'm working in an app, if I'm working on an app, and uh, I can see my app in real time in my different uh, devices or web browsers, any change I make, I will also see that change in my devices, emulators or web browsers at the same time without having to compile any code, and not even saving my object. I will see the object, the changes immediately. I'm going to go back on this in a minute with some examples. But I wanted to show you this film. I, I don't know if you know this film, Inception, in Spanish it's called El Origen. And uh, it's a group of thieves uh, which infiltrate in people's dreams to steal corporate ideas. And they use a technology so that they can go into someone's dream and then can steal your uh, ideas or implant new ones. I would like to show you this uh, video because in order to go into someone's dream, they have to create that scenario where the dream develops. And they use some people called architects. Those architects create the scenario where the dream will take place. So my video um, is please pay, pay attention to the girl in the, in the film. She's an architect, and she creates this reality where the dream develops. You are the dreamer. You build this world. I am the subject. My mind populates it. You can literally talk to my subconscious. That's one of the ways we extract information from the subject. My question is, what happens when you start messing with the physics of it? changing things like this.
right. I don't know if you've seen the, the, how, nat how natural and how flexible this architect uh, builds that scenario where the dream takes place. She wants to go from one place to the other in the street, and she builds a, a, a bridge. Uh, she uh, knocks on the on the, on the mirror, and uh, and and uh, but, but she simply breaks it, or she turns the city upside down. Now. The interesting thing here is that you can see a clear parallelism between this film and what happens to us as software developers. We are also dreamers, we are also creators, and we, in our mind we are constantly creating products, uh, ideas, ideas that uh, break and uh, paradigms that do away with the rules. Now what happens when in our mind we are absolutely free, we can create without any ties, um, but what happens when we want to uh, make those dreams dreams come true, when we want to implement them? Then what happens is that we have a very big gap full of complexities. And that's uh, particularly uh, what with GenNexus 15 and with live editing we want to do. We want to reduce the gap in terms of complexity and time so that it's easier and it takes um, shorter time without losing sight of our professional way of doing things. So, uh, to sum up, uh, live editing is a super powerful tool to create better and more professional user experiences, user interfaces, less complex in a shorter time. So now that we know what live editing is and what it's for, uh, let's see how we can use it with GenXus. Now, the good news is that uh, uh, it takes just two simple steps. Step one is that in uh, the, uh, the toolbar at the, at the top, um, we will have to change it. Uh, instead of release, we have to put in live editing. And then step two is to execute the application. That's all if you want to start working with live editing. Then automatically what happens is that at the um, right bottom bar, you have a new um, bar that, is, uh, that will be uh, uh, displaying all the devices connected ready to work with live editing. In this case, this snapshot shows that I was working with web browser in an iPhone emulator, so the web browser is, is represented there and then uh, below the iPhone. Um, let's look at I, the iPhone and uh, to have a concept of what device we are working with. That's the name of the uh, device, the simulator, what's the theme, what's the language, the OS, and a descriptive image so that we have more information. So I could tell you uh, in length how live editing works, but it's better if we see it in a demo uh, that I'm going to make here. I'm, I'm going to start uh, with this panel. I'm, I'm working on a, a user profile with GenXus. You have Ignacio's profile with some data, his favorite places to go out uh, to eat and dance. And so I've, I've finished my uh, development stage in this panel, and I would like to add some design. I'm not a designer, so I hired a designer for this job. And he brought up. Uh, he came up with something much more lively and elegant. So what I want to go from A to B in the easiest manner possible. And this is my cell screen. Uh, you've seen probably there was a sign saying it's connected. It's already telling me that it's uh, already connected with live editing. I can start working. So this is the panel I was showing you, um, Ignacio's profile, I'll start working with it. In the first place, since I've got uh, Ignacio's name on my application bar, I'm going to take away the layout name because it's repeated. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, take it out. And automatically, 
my uh, device also went away, so I'm going to go on working. If you remember, um, we have uh, Ignacio's age and his department, and it's all on the same line. So I'm going to be adding a new component uh, in my uh, table. Uh, I'm going to take these labels out, age and department, because I don't need that. And I'm going to say, don't show them. Can you see this clearly? And then, well, they were deleted. And uh, I would uh, drag uh, the age on the table as well as the department. Now they are on the same line. And uh, we still need a separating line in the middle. I'm going to continue working. Text block in the middle. And the caption is a uh, um, slant bar. So I have to align them. I'm going to say uh, age is going to come horizontally on the right. And the apartment horizontally on the left. And the table properties. Well, I'm going to uh, give them the um, size of the columns, 50% for A and 50% uh, for uh, the department. And uh, that's how it is. It's centered in the middle, somehow similar to what the designer said. And I have to work on his image. Now, his image is, is, is really very small, and it's next to the application bar. So I'm going to add another component to my layout. So I'm going to drag the image, and that table is called uh, table 3, doesn't tell me anything, so I'm going to write a name there, and also the class will have another name. Very well, the image is a bit uh, separated, and it's because the class I have given it had a uh, top margin already set. I'm doing all this. I don't know if you can see the asterisk here. I haven't saved this object. Now, if I put a cross here, it's going to ask me whether I want to save if it doesn't. If, if I don't, um, or I can say cancel, and I want to go on working without saving. Now, something else that is fantastic about live editing is that I can uh, choose the option uh, inspector, live inspector, and what I get is the, the my phone screen. What's happening here in my device, I'm going to be seeing it here in the live from Genexus. I can zoom in, zoom out, I can, I can move, I can move it around my screen. And something else that is really very good is that I can rotate it. There. I can rotate it and see it as in 3D. And this shows me the various layers that I've got in my layout in this panel. And so this helps me to work, as, as we said in our video, with more flexibility, more naturally. I, can, I am touching my software product. I can modify it as, at, uh, at my own will. So we're going to start working with uh, Ignacio's image. Let's go to the table. I will select the table. And here I can see some details of the table, the control number, name, and the name of the class that we are using. And so if I click on that class, what happens is that automatically on the right, I get the properties of the class. I don't have to go away from the context of what I'm working on and look for the theme and look for the class. I, I can do that directly from here. I can get to all those properties, particularly the table one is the one I would like to make bigger because the photograph is too small. Uh, so I'm going to change the percentages here. And as you can see, uh, communication is bidirectional. What's happening in my uh, phone, I can see it on my screen uh, on the computer. Now, his pick now is, is bigger, but not in, uh, aligned. And I would say, go to the center, and that's it. Now, um, what we want to do is to make it round and with that uh, 
blue uh, uh, red circle uh, around uh, so we can select uh, the, the uh, image uh, and, and see what class this design uh, is consuming uh, and we say image profile uh, picture let's go to the properties of that image and let's make some changes for instance border is going to be solid um, color is going to be red and the size of that border will be 4 and the radium was going to be 70. So as you can see in the device and uh, in my computer, you can see the image is round. Now what happens is that we had some kind of margins around, white margins, and that's because the image is not taking the, the size of its container. So we are going to put in fill and uh, there it is. The image is now filling the entire um, uh, circumference. Shame, it's his face, but what, what can we do? <laughs> now, um, we can go here and we can select uh, canvas and say, well, if you recall, the images of Ignacio's favorite places um, have to be enlarged a little bit. Let's go to the properties of that table and say the height is 140, and so they are bigger, it's better, they look nicer. Let's look at the image now. This is what we uh, this is what we want to avoid with live editing, you know, to look where the class is, oh it's here and, and so on. So it's easier the other way around. So let's put some feel in these images in the background. But I've got some margins there. I really don't know where they come from. Uh, they shouldn't be here. So let me go to Live Inspector and say I'm going to make it flat so you don't see it in 3D and I say, oh, there are the margins. So it's easier to detect, uh, you know, where the margins come from. Uh, these are these things of design that would take us a long time if I didn't have live editing. And I can see that there is a lateral padding of 10 and I'll put zero and there the column will expand. Um, the same thing uh, will be for the other pictures. Go to the class and I say this is 10, I don't want it, take it away. That's better, isn't it? Now what happens is that I can't read the text now, so I'm going to choose, I'm going to select text, I'm going to go to the class, I'm going to say I want you to take the color, well, the, the, the color of the letters, I want them white. I want the size to be 25 in bold. And I'm going to change the font. You know, so this is the idea of live editing, that you can play with the editor, that you can take the largest advantage possible and take the best designs possible. And if we play with these properties, we can realize many things. So it's good if you get to the best results possible. I would have to align this text horizontally in the middle. And there you are. We are much closer to the design that the designer has sent us. We want a black background. We go to Live Inspector. We go to the main table. We go to the class. And we say background color black. There you are. Now, what happens is, that once again, the text uh, are no longer there. It's a little bit difficult to see them in live editing, although they are marked. So what I can do is to use the separator. And there I've got them. So once again, I go to the text class. I would say color, white, so that uh, there is contrast. I still don't have this separator bar, so I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I'm going to separate it. I can see the separator there. Let's go to the class and say color white. 
And that's uh, the result of the design that the designer sent us in a few minutes. If uh, This would be shorter if I didn't have to explain this to you. If, if you do it, you would naturally do it in a shorter time. Now, with live editing, you can't only change the design, but also the code. So, for instance, I'm going to make an action. If I click on Ignacio's face, I get a contextual menu that says, do you want to take a photograph or do you want to take a photo from the library? I'm not interested because the uh, capabilities of my, of my um, device is, well, uh, don't ask me if I want to go to my library, simply take the photograph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to events on my panel. I haven't saved anything yet. This is unsaved. And I'm going to change the event. Image, user image. It's a tab event of the control. And there I'm going to say user image. It's going to be equal to camera. I'm going to call the cameras happy and I'm going to say take a photograph. What's going to happen now is that when I click here on Ignacio's um, face, I'm going to have my camera and whenever I take a photograph, I'll be able to use this photograph and that's the image. Uh, we took uh, uh, Ignacio's picture away and we're going to put this one. Now what happens is I say, well, no, 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 this is not really what I want. So I go back to the code when I touch it again. The image has no action. So we can modify the code um, in this case. This is what I wanted to share with you and show you in my demo. Thank you. You see how easy it is to get from what I had, which was this horrible design, to a design that is thought out for this app. It's more beautiful, and we were able to do it in a couple of minutes. So if you liked all this, uh, if you like live editing, I would like to invite you at half past four. We're going to have a lab of Genexus 15. We're going to be showing, among other things, the capabilities of live editing, where you'll be able to uh, have a hands-on experience. You are all very welcome. We're going to be holding that in the Picasso room. The marketing people have made a wonderful video summing up everything I've told you. It's summed up in two minutes. So I'd like to show you this video as a goodbye. Desde el principio de los tiempos, no importa de qué rama del arte hablemos, El creador siempre necesita sentir su obra. Uh, we have already seen this video and I've already translated, but um, let me translate it for you again. Um, it says all artists need to touch their work. If you create apps, there is a large distance between how we work and the result we obtain. In fact, if we create apps, some of us think about design, other things about code, other things in abstract. What happens is that the digital world where we create software, this feeling has been lost and we work in a place between the world of ideas and the world of bits. An application is a very specific works with which uh, users interact by touching it. So we wonder, what would happen if we could feel the app we are creating? What would happen if we could touch it? Why can't we shape it, molding it as we go along? And then we said, why not? And that is why we created live editing for Genexus, so that you can feel the application while doing it, so that uh, it changes in your hands.
as an artist would do. Genexus, with live editing, allows you interaction levels that were unthinkable of, all, of before. You can model it with Genexus and see it immediately in your app. And the best thing of all, you can change your app in your device, and those changes are included in the Genexus model automatically. With live editing, you can create better user experiences with an agile and interactive and incremental development, as if you were a true artist feeling the app as you are making it. Genexus with live editing. Dream like a child, work like an artist, create apps like a professional. Muchas gracias.